When you see what I am outside, it's different to when you're in the ring with me. A lot of fighters don't understand, and I may look basic, but once I get in the ring, it, it becomes much more complicated than just basic for them. Woo! I feel like I am the boogeyman. Oh. No better way to start. It's better than a coffee here. At 35 years old, it's easy to say that I've, I've done enough, but this life is a continuum, and the dreamer keeps on dreaming. All I need to do is to have my mental game strong. Call this the Florida Popsicles, ladies and gentlemen. Woo Keith one time Thurman. Keith sometime Thurman. Keith once upon the time Thurman. Keith, we're about to do it again and shock the world one more time, Thurman. That's what's coming up next. Mi esposa es una pieza muy clave en mi vida personal y profesional. Aunque yo me enoje, pues está duro y dale en la mañana, ¿no? A las 4 de la mañana en que empieza a sonar la alarma que yo, como quien dice, hace maña, ¿no? Para, para apagar el teléfono, para que se calle y no despertar, ¿no? Para levantarse a correr. Lo tengo que hacer porque, como ella me ha dicho, y tiene razón, ¿no? Pues si yo les hago falta a mis hijos, ¿quién los va a ver, no? Y pues realmente esa es la realidad. Isa, come on. Oh, what's wrong? You don't want to go inside the gym? I'm scared, come on. This Isak, mm -hmm. she's a sweetheart. I felt like to get more in tune with this fight, I had to adopt a Chihuahua because I'm gonna, you know, to get to, to understand them a little bit more, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm fighting ch a Chihuahua, you know? She's like a little afraid right now, you know, she's a little camera shy and stuff like this, you know, the same way Chihuahua Crew is going to be on uh, March 30th, you know? It's okay, you suck. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Todos los días yo le cocino. Cuando él empieza a entrenar, se tiene que medir lo que come. Se los tengo que pesar. Ya nos acostumbramos a esta rutina. Ya sabemos que viene la dieta y ya nos preparamos. Todos nos enfocamos. Tratamos de no comer cosas que él no pueda porque se le antojan. Pues tratamos de apoyarlo para que para él no sea tan difícil todo esto, sino que sea menos y sea más fácil. Cuando ya tiene fecha de pelea, a uno como esposa sí le entra un, ne un nervio, porque pues sabemos que son golpes al fin y al cabo y pues ni Dios lo quiera puede pasar algo, ¿no? Entonces sí empieza un nervio, una ansiedad. En ese aspecto es difícil. Tuvimos un inicio de pareja muy, muy duro, no, no teníamos algo estable prácticamente de todo un año que tuvimos que remar contra corriente. No teníamos dónde vivir, no había veces que se nos dificultaba hasta para la alimentación, pues no había dinero. Entonces, este, pues, este fue muy complicado. Yo como el hombre de la casa no tenía, llegó un momento, un punto donde no tenía que ofrecerles tan siquiera una tortilla, ¿no? Es que... Son muchos recuerdos de cuando la pasamos mal. 
cuando este pues la pasamos difícil. Pues sí, son recuerdos muy, muy difíciles. Desgraciadamente se quedan muy marcados esos recuerdos por los momentos difíciles que a pesar de eso, pues, fueron unas pruebas muy, muy, muy duras en nuestra persona, en nuestra relación y como pareja que, que Dios nos mandó para ver si realmente éramos uno para el otro o como quien dice, no, nada más nos interesaba lo, lo material, lo económico o lo físico, ¿no? pues gracias al, al apoyo de mi esposa, pues para que se fijara y pudiéramos hacer algo en el boxeo y poder despuntar la carrera. Tough times make for tough men. And suddenly the name Pitbull seems less a nickname and more a mindset that's been forged in fire. Soy muy orgulloso de mi hijo porque En él veo el reflejo de lo que pude haber hecho yo y saber que tiene una nueva oportunidad por el campeonato del mundo que él no la va a desaprovechar y va va a crear un orgullo no nada más para mí como su padre sino para todo el mundo y al pueblo mexicano. Se identifican con el guerrero mexicano por su forma de pelear que es entregado y no importa el rival que tengamos enfrente. ¿Qué opinas? Me da risa nada más. Tú puedes maltratar cualquier objeto, como él lo hizo con una piñata, ofendiendo hasta el nombre de un perrito chihuahua, ¿no? Que no le pide nada. Eh, ha ofendido a mi hijo, a Pitbull, pero no es lo mismo ofender a alguien que no se puede defender en el momento a que lo tengas de frente es cuando va a sentir el pánico que el ring le va a quedar muy chiquito para para correr. Ah, papá, ¿eh? Uno. Do. Estamos bien. Ah, ok. Tú tienes que sentir que lo tira. Vamos. Esa. I started training with Salas in November 2015. I learned a lot, you know, when I was with him, right? And um, we went our separate ways. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm happy I'm back with him because in reality, I don't think I should have left to begin with. I feel like when I did train with Salas, like I was, it was like it was something new I learned every single day, you know. And even as now, you know, I'm still learning every single day, you know. Mírame los hombros, uno, recojo, dos, y ya cargo. Hall of Fame trainer Ismael Salas, his long-term Cuban exiles into boxing machines of technical prowess. And while discipline might not be the first word associated with Romero, in the ring, opposite a pit bull, it's the exact approach he must take. I believe uh, Rolly is still now, he got much to move forward. Uno, recoge, do, y pam, pam. But it depends how we can click and bring him at the top at the right time. Tú estás llevando la, el, la fuerza para adelante, es lo que yo quiero. Salas, you know, fixing some things that, like, technically that I used to do, you know, that I, ain't, that I haven't been doing recently. I need to go back to just doing basic fundamental things. Salas is very patient, just having me do all the little footwork things. Gira, gira, gira. Oíste, esto es un juego. Esto no es verdad de boceo, esto es juego. Salas knows exactly how to train me. Uno, dos. Deja la maniquel de adelante. My main point with Rolly will be in this fight, his explosion. He got aggression, but we will bring explosion. 
This is make a big difference. Siéntate, sube la mano, cojones, que te va a tirar para atrás. Es esa. Man, the genius. But if there was somebody I owe all my success to, in the ring, out the ring, as a man, as a person, my morals, everything, it all goes to my dad. My dad got to the United States January 6, 1994. He was born in Cuba. Okay. Oh, come on. 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 He want to be just like me. He want to look like me. When I started boxing, I didn't know how much money it made or any of that stuff, you know, because I didn't really care. I just came into the gym just to prove something to my dad, you know? My dad was a little crazy, you know? He's calm now, but yeah, he would be in fights every day. My dad was really hard on me. Like, when I mean, like, my whole childhood, every, like, he made me who I am. Here is a little community of Cuban, and we get Cuban, old people, young people. You know, it's, it's a nice community Cuban place. We got champions in the house. Carlito Cuban food. Rolly, la amenaza. I really do appreciate the Cuban community for getting behind me and everything, you know? No, everybody loves me, you know, so. They show me love everywhere I go. You don't say in que equipo usted están. Usted todo, todo están contra mí. Yo no sé qué está pasando ahora. You'll see it here with Day of the Fight. This play will be packed. Screaming and yelling and it's fun. Are you ready? Sí, no, claro. Don't disappoint me. I'm going to play. Man, I'm going to build my own house on you. I want to give you guys a Mexican slugfest, and I'm going to go at him. And because he's not going to be able to take all the punishment from a real puncher. Knockout. Cold. He's already on the top level, but, you know, he's going to put his name out there. I know for sure. <laughs> the American dream, I mean, I don't know, I'm living my dream. I'm not living an American dream, I'm living my dream. And I know for a fact I'm living his dream as well. And the winner is Ronnie Romero! Oh, fuck. All right, let's start, let's start. Up to 11, yeah? I'll give him the sunny side. Usually, I got, I got the upper hand with Omar. <laughs> I always win, just because today, you know, He's a shit talker, nervous, though. You know? He had a good night's sleep. Yeah, all right. I got all my session in. Uh, this is just a little extra, just to have some fun. This is easy. Oh, Omar! Play smart. Not aggressive, play smart. You go, any other voice? Oh, come on, I put a hundred bucks on you, man. Not done, not done. <laughs> no, they'll come back. <laughs> right now, from it here, I'm loving it. It's like I'm unknown, and it's, and it's beautiful, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. In Australia, it's, it's, it's different, and there is uh, way more distractions. Look, for me, I love the thrill of competition, being able to dissect an opponent. I don't chase attention, uh, fame, and all of that stuff. Good game. Good game. My agenda's just been simple. Knock blokes out, take them out, and I know what comes with it. Kitchen, it's your field. No one can beat me there, brother. You know that. Service, please. You made it extra good today. Always extra good today, man. <laughs> One thing about Team Zoo, the world champion, he loves his salt. It's because I sweat so much, so always, always getting that salt in. But I think I, I just use that as an excuse. I <laughs> just love it. I traveled the world um, just to try different food out. Turkey, Italy, uh, went to Spain. And I'm always, uh, Sending photos to Omar. Step up your game. But he's always stepping up his game. <laughs> <laughs> this stepping stone for me is big. 
My ambition has always been chasing towards uh, fighting in America and chasing what I grew up watching uh, my whole life. The stakes are indeed higher against Thurman, but the soft-spoken Ozzy maintains a focused camp. No need for entourage. No need for yes men. Just keep it simple. The magnitude has changed, but not the approach. I do my training with my uncle, Eagle. He is my coach who started with me from the very day one. He taught me how to throw a jab to, to the position we're in now, uh, defending our WBO belt at the T-Mobile Arena. The passion and, and love for each other has always been there. Eagle's known me since a, since a young boy, since, since birth, actually, so we don't need to say much. We just let our actions do the talking. I grew up in an environment where losing was not an option. My father was a great Australian sporting icon, Kostya Zhu. Uh, he was the undisputed champ, uh, defeated a lot of great world champions. Round two, Zab Judah. Everyone remembers the knockout. This is my dad back in the days, and his red style was real long. He used to be a bit flashy with his gold Rolex and his gold chains. <laughs> my dad grew up in a, a small Soviet little city, uh, Serov, Russia, 100,000 people. It was a mining town, and the fact that he came to Australia gave us life, gave us opportunity, and that's what boxing did. It, it really gave us everything. He always used to say, I'm the king of the world and I'm the best. I'm the best. So there, there always, always used to be belief. I grew up with that mentality and it's something that I've just embraced as part of my life. I don't, I don't see my dad much these days. He lives in Russia, I live in Australia. Uh, we still talk, of course, all the time. As soon as I started my professional career, I wanted to become my own name, Tim Zhu rather than Kostya's son. I'm in this sport and it's me doing the punching, it's me doing everything, it's me doing the training, it's no one else. We're gonna be here, fighting. Pretty unreal, huh? I think we've reached to that point where, we, where people are saying, oh, you're, you're not Kostya's son, but he is Tim's dad. And, and that brings us uh, like a smile to my face, you know? Did you do it? Yeah, I don't know. Fucking hell, bro. You get the T-Mobile arena in, bro. We've got the worst photographer here. Just be symmetrical. History will be made here. History will be made. Are you walking like a crab? Crab walk. Oh, a crab walk. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna start getting I'm getting I told you, boy. <laughs> told you I'd load up back then, boy. <laughs> I was in the open division, so I was 17. No older than 18, but I'm pretty sure I was 17 in this video. It's just daddy. It's just daddy. Oh, that's daddy. Is daddy wearing the blue? History also matters to Thurman more than ever. After 31 pro bouts and after starting a family, he wants the record to show the passion driving his rise never dimmed. All right. It makes it challenging, of course. The young girls don't understand how busy daddy is in a training camp, but um, we make it work, and I have a wonderful wife that helps a lot. His diet is this, so of course he's gonna get jealous because sometimes I wanna eat healthy, sometimes I wanna eat everything I want. <laughs> but gotta make sure the man is on the track, you know? No salt because the salt holds the water. <laughs> we made in Tokyo 2016 in the club. <laughs> it's a bit amazing. Seeing the man becoming a daddy is wonderful, you know? What colors you see? We see the purple. Oh, oh, yellow. But he didn't come to me wild, you know. He's sweet, loving, sporting husband. Wow, you the champion baby of the world, Zella. 
You know, they're two different beautiful girls. They have their own personalities that they're just gonna continue to show. I just look forward to being there as a loving father, just supporting um, the growth of my children. Hands up. Champion of the world. Oh, girl. Say, Ananda, come on. Say, I'm the champion. Put your hands up. Say, Ananda, look. Ooh, champion. A lot of people have skeletons in their closets, and I got world titles, <laughs> you know? When you watch Keith Thurman fight, you're not just watching a 35-year-old two-time welterweight champion of the world, but you're watching a nine-year-old boy in a 35-year-old man's body living a dream. Hey, you see the smoke burning? Huh. I got you. What's your name, brother? Roman Wilson. Raul? Roman. Roman, Roman. Yeah. Like the numerals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. You're gonna be a killer. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Something like that. Like, like, how, do you, know, how do you like envision yourself in the fight? Like, I mean, you you a ball player, right? Yeah, yeah, game, yeah. you know, it's the same thing, game day, man. You wear face paint? Yeah. You wear face paint, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so the real confidence in the match is the work you did before the match even begun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my confidence comes from the blood, sweat, and tears that I put in ever since I was seven years old. I'm 35 today. I'm dedicated to the game. So I, I love talking boxing. I love teaching boxing. You know, being a champion, even a former champion, it's like being a professor. It's like having your doctorate, right? For a high school dropout, I'll take it, you know? I know I was doing 200, 300 sit-ups a day, every day leading up to this fight. I like to always just give fighters tips and clues, and if they take my advice, that they'll be able to progress and grow quicker because I know what works, I know what doesn't work. The sound you about to hear me make on these mitts, there ain't gonna be no mitts, it's gonna be his face, it's gonna be his body. And I just bring all of that into the ring, baby. And when I bring all that into the ring, the fuck you gonna do about it? You know what I'm saying? When it's game day, when you ready, ready, ain't no motherfucking team up in my sport, baby. Ain't no whistle blowing up in my sport, baby. It's just me and you. My feet, my hands, my athleticism versus your athleticism. My heart, my gojones versus yours, baby. Let's go, imano, imano, toe to toe. Best you know? Luck, bro. Thank you, man. Best of luck to you and your future, kid, all right? Hey, Jay. For you sure, for sure. Games. If that don't motivate you, I don't know what will, Roma. If that don't motivate you, I don't know what will, okay? <laughs>
He has a really big head too. It's gonna be hard to miss. One punch for me, one punch for you. Just like that. At the end of the day, I'm always ready. Tim, what's gonna happen? Just put him in the sleep. The nickname one time is gonna be changed to last time, so it's finito. Start the year off right, homie. It's still a bye. It's Saturday night, and I'm itching for a fight. Boxing superstar Keith One Time Thurman steps up to take down a rising star. But undefeated champion Tim Zhu has other ideas. One time? Nah, it's my time. Plus, world champ Rolly Romero never misses words. Pitbull, all bark, no bite. But Mexican powerhouse Pitbull Cruz is ready to silence the trash talker. Saturday nights are made for fights. Live on PBC Pay-Per-View on Prime Video. Time's up, rise up, 